If there was one thing that the recent Global Urban and Advanced Air Summit taught us was that there are still plenty of new projects underway for this exciting new form of transport. But it is a fragmented industry with many different types of innovation businesses or academic institutions working in isolation when we know success depends on collaboration as much as it does on funding. But a UK company that already has a background in developing hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, better known as eVTOL, has come up with a new vision, the first eVTOL village in the world. And we're joined now by the CEO of Samad Aerospace, Dr. Syed Mosini. Welcome to the program, Syed. Great to see you again. Hi, Alan. Great to see you. Now, tell us about your vision for this eVTOL village. What is it? How much land are you going to need? How's it going to work? Yeah, but we were thinking about how we can get to get together with lots of players and new emerging uh, uh, market of, uh, of eVTOL. Uh, some of them are big companies, some of them are small companies. And, and th these are challenging technologies to solve. And, and we need to uh, get people together to work together to come up with solid results. And and the, the, the best way is to create an environment that allows people to come together and they grow their own businesses and they, they, they uh, uh, grasp new opportunities that will emerge as a result of working together. So we thought about because this is a new technology, it's worth to uh, provide an environment in a, in a separate to conventional uh, aviation or, or aerospace industry uh, for a facility that includes the innovation hub as the, at the center of it, uh, the, the aircraft manufacturing facility, um, and a relatively small airport for testing, but also for local flights and veto flights, um, and a residential area for, for majority of these people who are going to be working in the innovation hub and, and, and manufacturing facilities. Uh, the, the, the residential facility to be available to them and all of the support environment related to uh, you know, hotels, medical centers, schools, um, you know, community center, you name it, anything that this community would require to thrive, uh, to provide to them. We are planning to build nine of them throughout the world. Um, they headquartered in, uh, in, in Europe, but we will have different centers in different regions throughout the world. The concept would be similar, but might change from one country to another. But the concept is almost uh, the same. And in this way, for these centers to work together uh, to tap into the global resource of, uh, uh, of uh, highly skilled engineers and, and, and companies and innovative companies who can come to the village, they can benefit from it, they can grow and at the same time contribute to the, to the rest of the community. So it, it, it's, a, it's, it's an economical model as well as a technology model. Because what we are saying that we are, we are leveraging the technology to develop the land in a sustainable manner, but at the same time, both sustainable environmentally, but also economically. So the, the companies who get involved in the village, they would benefit from this increase of the value. And that increase of the value could be reinvested into their technology development. It certainly sounds fantastic, and I love the idea of it being all over the world. But of course, you, these companies um, like your own have f faced many challenges in this birth of this industry. And, and you've been a, you, an early ambassador, if you like, for the hybrid electric model of aircraft and now been pushing on with Starling. Just tell us where you are with your program on that. Yeah, so uh, we're pleased to, to say that we have been progressing very well. Uh, even uh, you know the, the disruptions of uh, COVID um, didn't stop us from 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 progressing. Um, we are just about to start the, the ground testing for the half scale prototype of uh, of eStarling. Um, hopefully, during the next couple of weeks, we start the the conventional uh, testing, so CTOL testing of of this aircraft, uh, which in, we would make sure that. The aerodynamically and all of the handling qualities of the aircraft is, is achieved 
uh, as we expected uh, from it. So we make sure that this is a good aircraft and then we will add uh, the VTOL elements and we will enter into the sort of uh, um, the, the VTOL testing and also later on transition uh, from VTOL to cruise. And I think initially you were talking about um, a six-seater, um, but you're, you've got three different models you're working on now. Uh, what sort of scope have you got with the different aircraft? Yes, so we have, uh, we have apart from our development, we also have a small design house that we come up with. Um, so we allow our team to innovate and come up with new ideas. Uh, so some of these concepts we take forward, into the development like e-styling some of them we are we are holding back until we, we have the right resources available for us like for example huma uh, huma was a concept that um, could achieve the highest level of efficiency compared to any other vehicle in the world but but because we were focused on e-styling and was important for us to you know, keep the, the right pace for the e-styling we we also using the same quality uh, same uh, technology we have uh, come up with a two-seater version of our VTOL hybrid electric aircraft. Uh, this is a Q-Starling. The Q-Starling concept will be announced during the next few weeks. It's a unique design, and I encourage um, all of the, the, the people who are interested in the aviation to, to look into this. It's a, it's a completely new design philosophy, a new approach towards Vito, it's a flying Lamborghini in a way uh, for 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 a luxury high end uh, uh, market niche. This would allow us into to enter the market uh, relatively in a shorter period compared to e Sterling. Fantastic! It sounds like a, a fantastic idea, and good luck with the aircraft. And we look forward to seeing you in a few weeks' time with the launch of the Q Starling. So, Said, thank you very much. Thank you.